Social media is more addictive than drugs and alcohol, says Prince Harry. Thea has said that social media is more addictive than drugs and during a round table discussion on young people's mental health as his and his wife Meghan's new Instagram account hit 3 million followers AA. Harry visited the YMCA in South Ealing, West London, on Wednesday, to discuss and meet with representatives from charities including Stonewall and Young Minds. The round table event was convened by Heads Together, a mental health initiative headed by the Duke and, and the Duke and A. The Prince's words come as his new social media account, Sussex Royal, broke the world record for getting 1 million followers the quickest on Instagram A. The profile, described by an expert as highly stylized, racked up a staggering 150,000 followers in the 30 minutes after it was unveiled on Tuesday afternoon, and by Wednesday evening had accumulated 3 million followers. The Duke has come under fire for the timing of his words criticizing social media, eh? One person commented is that not hypocritical? I thought the royals, another said you honestly could not make that up. A third wrote isn't that rather ironic? New INST at the round table discussion, the Duke said the social media is more addictive than drugs and alcohol. Yes it is more dang, but we are in an exciting time because everybody in this room has an opportunity to actually make a real difference so that young people coming through are less connected to their phones. They can be as connected as they want to be but they have to have a human connection as well. Without that human, every single one of us has mental health. There is good mental, the younger generation feels so much more positive about this. There is no point, much of the discussion at the event centered on how, for many young people, mental health issues can lead to alcohol and drugs abuse as they try to cope with pressure, eh? The discussion included representatives from Young Minds, The Mix, Safe Lives, and Mermaids which supports transgender children and young people. Harry spoke at length about the need to hear more success stories from young people who have overcome their mental health issues explaining that many of the young people he had met, who had been in really, really dark places had come out the other side to live a normal life and were keen to talk about their experiences. Now US charities, I don't believe, necessarily put those young people forward. Those are the icon, there is too much negativity surrounding mental health. No wonder it, Harry was visiting the YMCA as part of his ongoing work to promote greater openness around mental health. YMCA South Ealing, one of the largest in Europe, primarily provides supported housing for 150 young people who are dealing with issues such as homelessness, mental illness, substance misuse, or domestic violence. He began his visit by meeting with a group of residents in a kitchen area. What's this place like be honest? He asked them. It has its ups and downs, admitted Jade Messam good enough, who was expelled from school at the age of 15 for low attendance and was later diagnosed with psychosis and anxiety but has managed to come through with the help of a YMCA support worker. The prince commented it must be comforting to know that you are not alone, that you are one of the more not the few when it comes to mental health. That must be comfort. Later, he went for an informal chat with some of YMCA's mental health champions. He spoke at length to Charlie Smith, from Norfolk, a senior youth engagement worker for the Mind Matters Project and a YMCA youth ambassador. Harry quizzed her about how important it was to have peer-to-peer -peer mentoring as opposed to help from teachers. It must be easier for kids in some situations to go and speak to someone relatable to them instead of going to a teacher or a therapist, he commented a. We just need to normalize the conversation, to make it so normal to talk about mental health that it becomes part of everyday life. As we all know stage 1 is talking about it and that can be a cure in itself. The shame we feel. We are chipping away at it but the shame associated with mental illness is terrible, aa.
No joy after two hour, May Corbyn Brexit talks leaders remain divided as Labour chief demands. Concord captain, who flew the Queen and Princess Diana, is found dead with dementia suffering wife in. Newlyweds are arrested as they land in UK from dream Cuban wedding after neighbours sniff out. Horror as blood-soaked man in his 40s dies in the street after being attacked with a machete in. Entrepreneur raking in pound 10,000 a month says he no longer needs to work aged just 28 after he sold. Jet 2 passenger who ordered airlines warming beef and bean chili on flight to Paphos was stunned. Brexit bill rammed through the Commons could make accidental no deal more likely warns Minister as. Surrender your sausages. The EU will for the most heartbreaking story. I can't stop sobbing. DIY SOS viewers are left emotionally exhausted. Deal by April 12th, or bust Junker says Britain can leave on May 22nd and avoid EU elections if she. Theresa May joins outrage at clearly unacceptable video of Paras using Jeremy Corbyn picture for. Family's fury as great grandmother. 94, bled to death alone at home after NHS staff refused to. Jerry Hall called Rupert Maddox's children in a panic and told them to come see their father once. Parents heartache as their sons, aged 2 and 16 months, die in hospital after being pulled. XTV Gladiator Cobra, 55, is seriously ill in hospital with pneumonia and pleurisy after. Hillsborough families face two-month wait to find out if match commander David Duckenfield will face.